following is a Nerd and Tie production. And welcome to Music Study Hall with Professor Fur. I am your host, Professor Fur. Class is in session here on another great week of all over the country. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Just a little bit of a little bit of a disclaimer before we get started here. Uh, not all of the music we're going to be playing tonight is safe for work, safe for small children. So, I mean, if you're at work, if you're around small children, maybe pop in some headphones and get ready to go to school here tonight on Music Study Hall. Well, welcome to our second episode. We had a great first episode. We heard a lot of fantastic music from a wide variety of artists from the Midwest and the Southeast. And we're going to kind of keep plugging along in that region tonight with a lot of great stuff from, again, Nashville, Tennessee, which honestly, if you ask me, I, I don't, you know, L.A., New York, great music towns. But if you want a town that produces music better than any other town Really, a city in the world, I would say go to Nashville. Uh, we're going to stick around here in my hometown of Eau Claire, Wisconsin, where we're broadcasting out of right now, the Eau Claire studio of Nerd and Tie. And uh, then we're also going to kick it on over to Lafayette, Indiana, later on in the episode as well. But let's get started with a band from Nashville, Tennessee. The band is Nuclear Bubble Wrap. And uh, they uh, just released, they've, they've been around for a couple of years now. They just released a full-length album at the beginning of 2016, in fact, on New Year's Day, called Multiverses. And uh, there's a lot of sci-fi uh, feeling to this album. There's a lot of, of, of amazing references to, to major works of science fiction on the album. And uh, especially the one we're going to be playing here tonight. The song is Disassociative Ford, I Think I'm a Sofa. And it's off of the Multiverse album, and you're hearing it here on Music Study Hall with Professor Fur. <laughs> (laughs) 
And that was Nuclear Bubble Wrap with Disassociative Ford, I Think I'm a Sofa, off of their Multiverse album. Of course, if some, knowing some of my listeners out there, you just responded with Ford, I Think I'm a Sofa with, or you respond to that with, I Know How You Feel. Again, that was Nuclear Bubble Wrap. Check out that entire album. A lot of really cool sci-fi uh, references on there. Uh, really great sounds. Of course, all the music that we play on Music Study Hall is independent music from from artists uh, sending us their music. And uh, you can, if you're an artist out there and you'd like us to play your music, shoot us an email at musicstudyhallnat at gmail dot com. We'll uh, put your music on here. We'll play it for the entire world to hear. And uh, yeah, it'll be it's kind of a win win for everybody in that situation. Of course, we're gonna, now we're going to stick around in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, our next artist is uh, uh, definitely a powerful song uh, that was submitted uh, for, for our consideration to play here, and, and we're going to play it tonight. Uh, the artist is, is Stuffy, and uh, they're from Nashville, Tennessee, and the song is the most personal song ever written by me. It's a one-off. It's not really on any album yet. Uh, they do have a band camp, so they've got one full-length album on their band camp, but this one is uh, one that was recorded and put up uh, just just last month in January and um really uh really take a listen to this and listen to the words cuz uh there are a lot of a lot of folks out there in this world that that struggle with with this uh with the subject matter and um hopefully hopefully if you're one of those people listening this can give you a little bit of a boost to to talk about it so the, this is uh, Stuffy with the most personal song ever written by me, and you're hearing it on Music Study Hall. to be a boy when I was five years old. There weren't enough naps to fix the exhaustion of being told that the colors I prefer and the stuffies I love to hold weren't made for me. I didn't want to be a girl and I was scared to die. But there were definitely times I couldn't stand being alive. And that's kind of an awful place to be when you were five, wouldn't you agree? I spent my preschool years standing in swings alone Screaming at passing planes to come and take me home Because I'd been disowned by gender that condones Nothing but its own ritual Soon I couldn't feel a thing except that wet pants kind of shame And I always had it on me like my stuffies in my name And so uncomfortable I wished I remembered to back a change of everything But some things can be remedied by medicine or time Then I couldn't change the world so I just had to change my mind And the nurse's office was the only place that I could hide from all my peers so I gave myself blisters, always faking Six so busy making friends out of the stones And sticks that break my bones And fix my lack of a sidekick But then I had my stuffies for that World for only liking pink And if I take a stab It leaves the black guest ink That spatters me Hey faggot and gets in my eyes After a thousand gallons I can't help but cry For all the five year olds Who just can't understand Why their preferences Make them not a man As if their enduring It isn't enough They take a thousand punches a day How dare you tell them they're not tough I didn't want to 
wanna be a boy when I was five years old There weren't enough naps to fix the exhaustion of being told That the colors I prefer and the stuffies I love to hold weren't made for me And that was Stuffy with the most personal song ever written by me. That is some powerful, powerful stuff there. Um, really, really kind of tugs on your heartstring, too, knowing that that people are are told they aren't who they are at such a young age when, when really the best person that knows who you are is you. So great stuff from Stuffy. Again, that was the most personal song ever written by me. Check out their band camp. They got a lot of good stuff on there and uh, support their music. Speaking of support, right about now is where uh, I would read a sponsor spot. Unfortunately, we didn't have any sponsors this week, but if you would like me to read about your company, if you're an artist, if you if you have a business and you want to be the sponsor of our show, uh, I, I guess we do have a sponsor and I'll, t- I'll talk about that shortly. Um, this is where this would go, and uh, for for a couple of dollars, you can sponsor the show. Uh, that is important because a lot of the bands that we play, I buy their music directly off of their band camps. That way, they're making a little bit of something uh, off of being on the show. Um, so, with your with your sponsorship, we can we can make sure these bands uh, get supported, and uh, and and they can they can continue to to make music um, because they are getting getting paid. Uh, I would also like to take over this moment to to mention a Nerd and Tie Expo. We here at Nerd and Tie are running a convention in uh, in September in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. That's September twenty third through the twenty fifth at the Plaza in Eau Claire. And uh, there's going to be a lot of really really good stuff. We're going to be now getting some very cool guests and doing a lot of keeping it really sort of intimate too. We're only we're only having 1000 people uh 1000 badges available to buy. So go to expo.nerdandtie.com, check out some of the stuff we're going to do there and hey, maybe pre-register too. It's $30 right now to pre-register for the weekend. So do that and uh book your ticket for one of the best new conventions that you're going to go to this year. With that, let's get on back to the music. To my hometown of Eau Claire, Wisconsin, where I'm currently actually sitting right now. Uh, we haven't really played any metal on the show, but uh, we played some punk music in episode one. But here on episode two is our first metal band, and that band is Incriminating Silence. They've been together for a couple of years, and uh, they just released their first album last year. And that album was On the Verge of Waking, and we're going to play a track off of that. Here is Incriminating Silence with Boxes and Meds, and you're hearing it here on Music Study Hall.
And that was incriminating silence with boxes and meds off of their On the Verge of Waking album. It's available now on their band camp. Go check, check, check that out. All right, let's move uh, let's move away from Eau Claire for just a bit. Take a step away as we head on over to Lafayette, Indiana, where Lieutenant Snorkel has some has an interesting song for us. Uh, of course, ten years ago, the um, wildly infamous, wildly popular fan fiction. Uh, God, uh, can't, draw a blank. Uh, why am I? Why am I immortal? My God, I've drew a blank on this. That was great. <laughs> uh, the wildly infamous fan fiction My Immortal by Tara Gillespie came out and really took the uh, fan fiction community by storm. It's a Harry Potter fan fiction in the best and worst way possible. And recently, uh, it was picked up by Media Junkie Studios and turned into a web series. And uh, Lieutenant Snorkel, we're all, we're all fans of it here at Nerd and Tie. And uh, Lieutenant Snorkel took the took the series and made a song uh, dedicated to it, and we're going to play that song for you right now. Here is "Dear Enemy, Darkness, Dementia, Raven Way" by Lieutenant Snorkel. <laughs>
And that was Lieutenant Snorkel with Dear Enemy, Darkness, Dementia, Raven Way, based very heavily off the My Immortal web series. Go check out, not only check out Lieutenant Snorkel's SoundCloud and Bandcamp, Bandcamp, excuse me, not, don't only ch- check out his their Bandcamp, but also go uh, go look out Media Junkies' uh, web series based off of the My Immortal ser- uh, fan fiction. It's quite a sight to behold they did a really great job on it and that song heavily inspired by that web series i've got one more song for you tonight uh it is back to eau claire wisconsin we go with caitlin mcgarvey now she doesn't have any eps out yet but she is currently working on that uh right now she's got a gofundme uh gofundme.com slash caitlin makes an ep we'll have a link to that but uh if you want somebody with a powerful voice that's that's going to kind of stick with you, you're in the right place. Uh, she recorded this song just for this show, um, and and it is it's going to take your breath away. Here is Caitlin McGarvey with "Keep Your Love."
That was Caitlin McGarvey with Keep Your Love. And hey, you can hear that song on, uh, on her SoundCloud very soon. But you can hear a whole lot of other incredible, incredible songs on her SoundCloud. Check that out. We'll have the link in the show notes as well as the link to her GoFundMe. Uh, she's trying to make an EP. And after you hear that, how could you not want to support that? All of the musicians here tonight can be found online. You can check out their band camps and their sound clouds uh, in the show notes, as well as links to whoever sponsors us for the week. Uh, Trey Dorn, thank you so much for producing for us all the way out there in Lafayette, Indiana. Lafayette, Indiana. He is amazing. And uh, you can hear more of his stuff uh, every other week on nerdandtie.com with the off week. And you hear, can hear both of us along with Nick Azumi on our usual podcast, Nerd and Tie, which is every other fortnight. Please, please, please support all the musicians that you heard here tonight. Go to their sound band camps, buy their music, buy their albums, go see them in concert, buy them food. Musicians need food, and you can help them out with that. Folks, thank you so much for joining us tonight on Music Study Hall. I'm your host, Professor Fur, and it's a big, beautiful world out there. There's a lot to learn, a lot to, lot to educate yourself on. Go out there and discover something. Go do something new. Try something you've never tried before. And as always, love everybody. Have a good night, everybody, and we'll talk to you next week. <laughs>